Today I want to do something a little bit different here in Ponytown and kind of highlight a specific um, creator here that I've seen recently. Uh, they asked me to take a look at their island and I did and I found a handful of stuff that I actually haven't seen built anywhere else so I wanted to kind of share some of their designs with their permission of course. This is the creator in mind. Um, this is the character they were using at least, Angelic uh, Skies, Flutter Dash, something. Uh, but these are some of their designs and stuff like that starting with this bead door um, I'm not sure if that's exactly what it was meant to be But it kind of looked like a bead door So I thought I would kind of share it here as a bead door uh, Something that you know some people do is they use like these tall long beads instead of doors and stuff like that as doorways and it just it just makes sense. We haven't, I mean, I actually personally haven't actually used the hanging crystals or anything like that recently. So it's good to see something done with them besides just basic stuff of like, just put them around somewhere because they're they're crystals and they're pretty because of that. Um, but something else that was really cool was this plant here, this little potted plant. Um, it's super simple to do. I think I might have actually seen this done before, but I've never shared it before. So um, this, it's just a blueberry bush, but it's so simple to do. All you have to do is get this specific item. Um, I can show it to you in the build menu. You're going to have to go to the gardening and then scroll over till you find uh, one of them. Where is it? It's right here. It's a medium potted plant. Of course, you can change its colors and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's versatile in that way. But if you actually take it and place it down... Um, you can actually then get some berries, highlight, uh, change their color to blue, and then fill in all of these little empty spots that you see there. As you can see, there's a couple of empty spots there that we're filling with these berries. And then as soon as you do that, just fill a handful of random spots. Don't go too crazy with it, because I feel like if you go too crazy with it, it might kind of destroy the illusion a little bit. But there you go. And it's set up so perfectly that it's actually genuinely hard to tell that it's not just a normal item in the game, because they just combine so well. Of course, if you walk behind it it kind of destroys it a little bit but you know that's kind of the case with basically everything in Pony Town anyway uh but moving on we have the fireplace and the little grates or the little um bars that kind of separate you from the fire um this is simple all you have to do is get a chair and rotate it and then put it in front in front of the fire like that and it's just it just goes right in and it actually looks like it's meant to be there. It's a really good design. Um, I'm not sure if they discovered this by accident, but this is something that I would have probably discovered by accident um, because I never would have thought to try to push the chair inside of the fireplace unless maybe I was doing some kind of role play and I was like, screw your chair, I'm throwing it in the fire, it's burning, your chair is gone. Wait, that actually looks kind of cool. Anyway, moving on, we have a painter. This I think I've seen done before too, but again, I've never shared it. Um, so I don't know for sure if this is purely their idea or if they've also seen this somewhere else. But it's just a little fez. You get a gravestone here. And yes, this is what this is. You just get one, and I personally like the little more squarish one. You rotate it so that you can't see the front of it, and just rotate it to the back. Then you get some berries or something like that to be their palette, of course, and a paintbrush, and maybe a water cup or some paper on the ground or something like that. And there you go. You got you got yourself a little painter, a little little painter fez, and it's it's super simple to set up. And if you guys are doing any kind of art related thing uh, for your builds, maybe you're doing some kind of art museum or something like that, it would make sense to at the very least set up the fez here um, maybe you could get rid of the canvas or you could replace it with something like uh, a doormat or something I think I've seen that done before and then you could try to replace it with a doormat or something like that maybe even some white carpet or if you want to go really crazy you could give them a huge canvas as in the form of the mattress or something but there's definitely um, many different ways that you could probably go about doing a painter fez but I definitely like the idea of the gravestone being like uh, a canvas because it's it's the right shape it doesn't have too much detail on the back so it just kind of works out um, next we have some bunk beds over here a super simple design they're using some of these um pointer sticker things what the hell are these called pointer stickers P point point pointy sticks <laughs> They are! They're called pointing sticks! I was right! They're called pointing sticks! I was right! They are called pointing sticks. I can't believe I was right about that. Anyway, um, they're using pointing sticks for the uh, ladder going up. Okay, so they're, they're using, of course, the actual items as the fences instead of the uh, the walls. So, like, you you know, obviously you can get a, a, a saw or whatever and do some walls or whatever. But instead of doing that, they, they use the actual object so they can get a more precise position on here. And that allows them to basically make it look much better because it sets up exactly how it should be. Now, of course, they're using like two different beds. I need to adjust this a little bit so I can actually get in here. I messed that up a little bit, but 
there we go i can get in here now this one is probably the hardest of them to make because it, it's it relies on everything being just precise um, but something that's a lot easier and also bed related is the hang bed that you would see typically in certain prisons or um, labs or whatever else. And this is also su super simple. You just get some wrenches and just line them up diagonally until they're going against the wall. And then you put the mattress down and boom, there you go. We got a hanging mattress. Of course, it breaks a little bit if you sit in certain spots because it's not actually hanging so obviously you can actually stand on these and that kind of ruins the illusion a little bit but you can always close this off or just i don't know just tell people not to do it or pretend that it, that doesn't happen and next we have some mutton um, i did a video a long time ago where i was trying to highlight a bunch of different food related items that you guys created and this is something that never came up just mutton and I, I think maybe because we couldn't rotate the bread at the time or maybe because we didn't have bones at the time or maybe we didn't have the pomegranate slices at the time but this is super simple to make all you do is get some bread rotate it to be diagonal get a pomegranate slice and shove that right about there in the corner then you get yourself a bone and rotate it till it's facing you know a, another diagonal direction and you stick it in there and you boom you got yourself some mutton you can throw in a pie tin underneath it to be like a prisoner's food dish or something like that and you can add it to your your prisons or whatever else um but it also looks good on a table or really just anywhere else by itself because i mean it just it just looks like mutton i saw this on their island and i was immediately like what the what the heck they got they got their own original food on here and that's that's pretty cool i like doing that stuff next we have a basic grave it's super simple people have probably been doing this forever but this was actually the first time i ever seen one that was using dirt piles to kind of s simulate the idea that this was recently buried that th the person or something else was recently buried here so if you didn't want it to be a grave you could just as easily get rid of all of this other stuff like the flowers and actual grave and stuff like that and boom there you go now it looks like something that had been recently buried here you could probably even um get something like uh the uh wrenches and you could almost even have like an X marks the spot type situation. Of course, you might want to play around with this a little bit, but you could even do this as like a uh, a pirate thing. Like, oh, look, there's there must be treasure buried here because there's like the, the ground is disturbed here. It looks like something has been recently buried. There's even a shovel here. And of course, there's an X on it or something. So there's definitely a couple things you could do in that. Um, but yeah, these are, these are a handful of different things that this creator um, did on their island that they showed me. And I thought it looked super cool. So I thought I would share them. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of these different designs and ideas and stuff like that. And if you guys have your own designs or ideas, uh, post them to the subreddit or something like that. Because I do check out the subreddit every now and then. And I might uh, go on there and take a bunch of them and compare combine them for another video or something like that with of course full credit towards the redditor who posts it so uh feel free to do all of that and in the meantime please do consider liking subscribing sharing doing all of those wonderful things like that